My name is Rhapsody, his name is Orbital Potato, and welcome to Minimax Tinyverse. Minimax Tinyverse is a real-time Tower Rush brawler, which plays a little bit like a mix between Mushroom Wars and an ARTS game, similar to League of Legends or Dota 2. You don't directly control the troops on the battlefield. Instead, you select your loadout and your army before battle, and then grant them buffs and boons while debuffing and destroying your enemy's units with your godlike powers inside of the battle. Developed by Ublu Incorporated. How's it going? Orbital Potato. I'm doing very well. How are you doing, my good sir? Ah, uh, quite well. I feel like I may have just made it sound like you're developed by Ublu in uh, Incorporated. I am actually. That's right. Orbital's been a robot this entire time. I am actually developed by Ublu. Ublu? Oh. Well, yeah, exactly. You should know. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's true, I suppose. Um, so we've taken up opposing sides to take up arms against the Sea of Trouble and by opposing end them to die to sleep for chance to dream. Uh, I'm going to be going with the forests, because hippie, uh, and you'll be going with the people, I believe, fundamentally. <laughs> because not a hippie? Is that the only requirement to pick the people? <laughs> like, Well, <laughs> I, I was thinking like industrious, kind of, you know, more methodical, a little bit more strategic, that kind of thing. I feel there's a lot of, that's a lot of polite words that you're using, whereas you could have been mm. using a lot more. <laughs> negative yeah. words perhaps no, I, i'm selecting mine absolutely carefully <laughs> <laughs> yeah i thought so um all right important to note this game doesn't actually have a custom match feature so we can't actually directly match up against each other so we're go both going to click the the ranked match button and hope that we face each other on the field of mm -hmm. battle are you ready fingers crossed because i don't want to have to do the intro a third time <laughs> okay three two one go all right, we're, we're roughly like the same level, so theoretically, mm. it should match us up against each other. Nope, not again. <laughs> not at all. Oh, come on, fingers crossed. Cross them with us. Oh yeah! my goodness, it totally worked. Hell yeah, I knew it would. That's incredible. Okay. I mean, you knew it would, you did pitch this idea originally. Yeah. <laughs> It's quite funny, actually. The way that I I had to I had to ask the devs if this um if this feature actually worked, um, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, they were super nice about it and they told us that it's going to be coming back. So I'm hoping they're going to add it in just for us in the future. I think they probably will actually. <laughs> oh. um, ah, it's maybe. it's probably worth us talking a little bit about the um the abilities that we've got and perhaps the mm -hmm. miracles that we've got and also the hero specific uh, talents. Um, mm -hmm. So I suppose we should probably start with like your general abilities, which are the three most abilities on the right. Um, honestly, uh, already messing with my units. What did you? Yeah, dude. Oh. You can't. Oh. You can't do that. I can do that. Oh my goodness, you've already got your hero out. I hate it so much. I hate that hero. Oh yeah, no, I, I had to pick him up and launch him in the middle of the battle. This is so irritating. I hate it so much. So, if you're thinking, oh, but Raps, I don't really know what these characters do. Yeah, neither do we right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. So these first three abilities, E, R, and F at the very bottom of the screen, take a uh, draw from the mana pool that just refreshes over time. Mm -hmm. But it appears... I'm just going to block those off. <laughs> <sighs> Excellent. Uh, no, that's a ramp! And yeah. your units don't know how to use it. Uh, oh, but great. it appears that ER and F are kind of unique battlefield changing kinds of things that we're capable of doing. And then one, two, and three are different godlike abilities, including yeah. a up next, which means that whenever we use one, it cycles out into the next. Yeah. And it's actually really important that you keep on, like, sort of cycling your spells so that you're constantly getting the spells that um, that you need to get. Oh, mm -hmm. that was a huge misplay on my on my part. Yeah, you, you kind of got brutalized there, and I don't feel sorry about it. I think you should feel sorry about it. It was pretty bad, actually, and I'm That's pretty... That's why I said brutalized, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty disgruntled about did it. I, did I stutter? Yes. <laughs> um, oh, that's a super ineffective wall. Ooh, have you ever wall. played a TD in your life, my dude? That's a bad wall right there. That is there. a bad wall, dude. You're not wall, dude. me at all. I know it's a bad wall. 
It is a bad wall. It's fine though. I feel I'm, like I'm getting the first tower here. I feel like you probably are. Although, also I feel that that is entirely down to the fact that I mis mis microed my hero. My hero has like an inv a sacred invincibility. That is one of her. That is one of her. Um, one of her powers. So she can literally be invincible, and uh, I didn't use it properly. So there we go. Are you gonna get a second tower? Really? Got that him. is absolutely uh, horrific, honestly. I'm um, more than happy to sack a hero for a second tower. That is that is pretty worth, actually, for you. It's worth noting that this game, by the way, ends after uh, six phases, I do believe. Yes. So there is a maximum turn timer. Whoever has destroyed the most towers at the end of that um, wins. Um, alternatively, you can just destroy your opponent's throne. And mm -hmm. I'm certainly going to try and going to try and make this happen. Okay. This is, uh, this is actually okay. That buff, by the way, that little stimulant, the purple thing, is absolutely incredible, yep. and I think it is probably the most powerful ability that I have least discovered so far. Okay. There we go. All right. We're gonna Time to launch my friends into battle. We're gonna face off hero to hero. I'm gonna make sure that she's invincible, and I'm gonna buff all of my little cannon dudes. Buffing the cannon dudes is so insane. They actually. All right. Oh, you're just gonna. You're just gonna instantly cancel debuff it. them. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> kind of a little bit unfair. Oh, sorry. I should have consulted you first. That's my bad. Please do next time, actually. We'll um, do. That would be very, very helpful if you did. Okay. Oh, right on the back lines, bringing a boulder down on the back lines. Very, very disappointed in you there, buddy. You disappointed in me? Yeah, I expected, I expected less actually, or I expected you to do less. Well, I mean, I could scarcely be doing less right now. Okay. Yeah, it looks like uh, looks like I'm probably out of this one. Yeah, I've still got a little bit of invincibility. Okay. Alright. Invincibility on my hero. I'll take that. Fingers crossed, can survive long enough to get a healing off. Nice. Alright, I just discovered my own hero's ability. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 it's, it's a good time to discover that. Yeah. So, yeah, each hero has got like a passive and a, um, a I think, it, well, I think it's a passive. I think, well, I think I, I actually have two actives. Uh, but you've got a passive, and then you've also got a, uh, a two passives, actually, and then an active or two. All right. We should probably go through the passives and actives of our heroes before we launch into another match. Uh, partly for the benefit of the viewers, uh, but mostly for the benefit of the me. There we go. Do not take those troops Ramp up. Ramp time. That is pretty horrific, actually. Okay. I'm confident that I'm going to win. See, look at this. You're completely invisible, and it's completely annoying. And I can't even debuff you, unfortunately. Sudden death time! Sudden death. Oh my goodness. This is it. This is it! Okay. We're not going to let... what? Sudden death doesn't just mean you suddenly die? No, I don't think so. If... If you would suddenly die, or if it was a competition, well, which it is, um, then you would lose because you're on you're on less HP. You've got less less base 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 health than I do. That's true. Um, but I think that we've got until the end of the sort of six minute mark, so until seven minutes, I guess, in order to in order to see what happens. Oh, yikes. I'm just gonna take out your supports. Um, I would prefer, truthfully, if you didn't. Eh, you might, but I actually prefer to take out your supports, though. There we go. Nice. Drop that right there. Let's uh, remove your invincibility. Let's immediately heal my troops. This is a battle that you're not gonna win, my friend. Oh, yeah, no, I'm used to those. <laughs> Turns out that I do have two actives, um, and only realized that I had a second one right now. 
Uh, you just taunted me. Oh. Can I do it again? Which I believe is a mechanic by which you can stop me from casting spells uh, or seeing other parts of the map because I'm too busy looking at you taunting me. Oh. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, so that's my second active. So I don't actually have two actives then. I have one active and then one, uh, one taunt. Dope. It appears that may be the case, yes. Okay. Invincibility is on. Uh... It's not good enough. It is not good enough. Okay, so what have we got? We've got a couple minutes left. I mean, our score is currently equal. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. I don't know the requirements. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, safety zone you just, you. you just saved. You just saved a whole bunch of damage right there. <laughs> yes, I did. That was pretty incredible, actually. My hero Thank should you. be up before before you're back up. Very much hoping. Very much hoping that that's the case. Oh, yikes. Oh, this is going to be tight. Oh, what? How did she die? How did she die? Uh, I beat the ever loving heck out of her. How did. How did this happen? Oh no, you safety zoned again! That is. Yep. Oh, dude, that's. That's disgusting. Oh, that's. Safety zoned, uh, and then I dropped a heal on top of it. It looks like we're gonna be taking this one. Oh, that is. That is nuts. Oh, I. I feel super bad about that, actually. I feel like I had that one in the bag up until the very end. What was I doing? Uh, the wave based, uh, the wave basing makes it super, super tense because as you get to the very end, if you can't extend and finally get the push, uh, the push for the kill, you've overextended. Yeah. Now I can send all of my units against nothing. That's yeah. Really cool. Yeah. It's oh man. Oh, that was great. Oh, that was cool. Mm -hmm. Um. All right, so let's uh, actually have a look at each of our characters first. Uh, I'm going to play the same character again. Okay. Um, so I'll start out by reading her active skills. Okay. So uh, Kyra is one of the most notorious assassins in all of Kraya. Uh, the agile and unpredictable killer strikes like a gale and vanishes into shadow. Uh, has actually one active skill. You won't see me. Kaya deceives her enemies and hides herself from vision. During the time she is hidden, she can deal extra damage on enemies. She hides longer during the nighttime. That's pretty good, actually. Um, cool. The then we've also got two passive skills. Uh, sneaking walk during the night, Kaya can hide in the shade. If she attacks, her camouflage breaks and can, she can strike her prey harder. Okay, so that seems very reeky. Um, and yeah. Thrall, which is Kaya suppresses the target and hurls violent attacks. I just, I hate that hero so much. Because if anyone if anyone out there plays Dota 2, you'll realize how much of a horrible hero Ricky is to play against. Because you just don't see him. You have to spend so many resources to make sure that they're not visible. And that's that's an interesting actually that's an interesting thing. Your your dude is invisible, but I can still see it. It's just that my troops can't see it, and so they're all mm -hmm. surprised as soon as he pops out and deals extra damage to them. And it's just a horrible hero horrible concept i hate it so much i never want to play <laughs> against it it's aw honestly awful um all right so who have you got so i've played actually as all three of my dudes and um, you have to do a couple of bot matches in order to in order to play um the champion that i was playing as there was adel or adel um she's a princess of the silas silas billin kingdom um mm -hmm. and her active as we sort of talked about was sacred inviolability which basically turns her immune against uh, all damage and she's more powerful uh, during the daylight so that's pretty cool uh, she also has uh, a couple of passives a healing aura which heals uh, nearby allies with their energy of light whilst being under the daylight so you're really powerful in the night I'm really powerful in the day and uh, mm -hmm. I also have uh, the daylight the divine shield which gives which gives me the ability to strike back uh, against enemies uh, during the day so pretty much the daylight hero versus the night hero pretty well, interesting uh, actually. 
it's actually daylight clan versus night cl uh, time clan because yeah, true. we're Korea uh, broadly are better at night. We have better vision. I don't know if we have better range slash movement speed at night time, but it feels like it. Uh, would you prefer that I change to a different character? I think we should change to a different character. I mean, we've, we've got three, so we might as well sort of take the opportunity okay. to explore um, all three. What's interesting to note is that only the active and passive skills of the hero are different. You can customize your um, your loadout of miracles um, on a different screen right here uh, mm -hmm. and your sort of troop count. But I think if we probably just keep our troops the same and our miracles the same, we can just change out the champion and sort of talk about the abilities and perhaps the tactics for, uh, for sure. each of these. Sure, 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 sure. We can do. Um, just one thing. The, uh, the, the champions do have different combat stats. Yes. Like single target, normal, like low attack speed, long range, etc., etc. Et yeah, I mean, um, yeah. The first, the first dude that I played as was melee, but I believe I've only got one melee and then two ranged attack heroes, which mm -hmm. is really, really cool. I uh, all right. I really like that. So I will very quickly. Uh, Fine Nuke is the thunder wielding Fine Nuke is a dangerous thug who is considered a walking calamity among the Rapanosa tribe. Uh, his mighty thunderbolts and madness thrills both his enemies and allies. Uh, active skill is Fry. Summon a fierce thundercloud to shock your enemies. And passive skills, whenever Finuke contacts with lightning, he gains charge stacks. Uh, charge stacks make him stronger and can be stacked without limits. However, he loses all charge stacks if he falls. And the lightning of Finuke jumps to nearby enemies. Whenever the lightning jumps, it deals less damage. Hmm. That's going to be the character I play with. All right, cool. I'm going to be playing as um, as Tupi, who is a brilliant marksman um, who shoots icy arrows. Uh, my active skill is Freezing Arrow, which is uh, exactly the same as Ice, Ice Path in uh, Dota 2, actually, from the hero Jikiro. It's an incredible mm -hmm. skill, actually. Really, really good. It's basically an area of effect freezing along a certain passage, uh, and that's my active. It's really, really cool. Uh, I've also got Chilling Arrow, so being touched by Tupi's arrows, uh, they get slowed and they will get some Frostbites. Not single frostbite, frostbites. Yes. Plural. Well, they they're going to get multiple times frostbitten. No, 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 no. It says spot. it says here. I have it on good authority. It says additionally they will get some frostbites. Okay. They will get some frostbites. Um, I'm on board. And uh, also, the rank match? and also this dude is uh, is called immune. Yeah, let's go. You want to count down? All right. Three, two, one. Uh, come on. You already got a match? No, 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 no. I'm still finding. I've still got a match. Myself. I've got a match now. Got a it's, match? it's not, right. it's not good. I'm gonna bail. I'm gonna bail too. Okay. <sighs> Unfortunately, because the custom 1v1 system is not currently implemented, uh, we are going to have to do this. It's kind of annoying. And it happens from time to time. Kind of annoying. It's very annoying. Ready to go again? Yep, I'm ready. Three, two, one, click. There we go. You know what? Maybe the... it's not ranking us up together because I'm just way too much better than. Oh, never mind. <laughs> 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 the internal MMR system has decided. I I don't think that there is really an internal MMR system. I just I don't know how it works because I was originally um, placed with like a level eight dude, and I don't know why I would be placed against a level a level 8 guy when I'm, like, level 4. Mm -hmm. Doesn't make sense. So your guy benefits from lightning? Your hero benefits from lightning? Is that the case? Yeah. Okay. We, uh, we do the zaps. That's fair. All about those zaps. Good. Let's see what we can get going on here. Oh, cool. That's that's fine. I didn't need to go down there anyway. Ah, good. I'm glad. Create a ramp. Oh, cool. Apparently my units don't know how to use a ramp at all, so that's that's fine as well. I'm just going to, you know, sacrifice a couple of my units to you. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. Oh. That's fine, I guess. Is it? That is what it is, you know. <laughs> Oh, that, that was really good. It's that super was really effective. Good. Yeah, I love I love the ice arrow skill. It really is sickeningly good. I like it a lot. Okay, turns out that that I'm wall. Just gonna... 
isn't really effective Straight against range enemies. Straight up delete all of your allies. Oh. Thanks, man. Yep, there we go. Ah. Zoom! No! Oh, dude, that was close. That was close. All right, yeah, well played, well played. Thanks, man. Uh... Okay, gonna move this dude right back. Is he gonna retreat? Yeah, I'm gonna try and retreat, although unfortunately Wait. he's a bit gung ho. Come on, come on. Oh, it's super ineffective. Oh man, that was disappointing. I feel that it's. I feel that we're a pretty. You know, we're at a bit of an impasse. It's pretty even right now for both of us. Yeah, we are at an impasse, quite literally here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, right. Oh. I love these little I love these little dudes with like turrets on their backs. It is sickeningly uh -huh. good. I love how effective they are. Oh, could you not just debuff my guys instantly, please? Wait, then stop buffing them then! Jeez! You don't want your units to be debuffed, don't buff them. It's just that simple. Oh no. You just called oh. down a strike on me. Yeah. I'm afraid that's how it goes, my friend. Just gonna retreat. Excuse me? <sighs> you don't get out of my sight. Don't I? Oh, it's night time! Oh, how did that's that my not- my time to shine. How did that not freeze? I feel that that really should have frozen. Uh, oh, destroyed him! How can you do that? You could just, you could just call down like a, like an AC-130 on top of my backline. That really yeah, is not my fair. My AC-130 is online. <laughs> Stop the ability! Stop the ability! Okay. Not sure that that was really worth it, but it happened anyway. And I lost. Those guys are just like, oh, little fighting squirrels. Oh, Man, they're, they're so good. So annoying. Yeah, they are like little fighting squirrels. That's almost literally exactly what they're like. There we go. I do kind of like how um, how lightning, as well as doing a bunch of damage, does knock enemies back. I think that that's pretty darn cool. Mm. Pretty effective. Pretty useful. Pretty useful, yeah. Oh, man. This is not ideal, truthfully. I was hoping it wouldn't be. Oh, if man. it was, then I don't think I'd be doing it. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, that's fine. It kind of knocked them out of it, so I think that that worked yeah. out. That worked out okay anyway. Okay. Can I line this up? No, I cannot. That was uh, that was a that was a real whiff. <laughs> oh goodness me. Okay, it's daytime. We need to make some real progress during the day. Gonna cast some lightning on you while you do that. Oh, oh. Whoa! I should be immune to damage right now. What's up? I do not know. Sometimes it is effective. Other times it is not. All right, well, that's a lot of mana invested on something that didn't work there. There we go. Heal up these dudes. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. It's going to be a bit touch and go for me for a little while. Those troops are really, really good. And I don't like how effective they are. Okay. Right. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah. Bypassed. Bypass that wall of death and despair. Okay. Bypass this one. That is a bunch of death and despair. <laughs> oh. Oh. It didn't work. Hey. What? What happened? It ended. The game ended. It ends after uh, six minutes and I had a tower. Wait. What? But. 
Oh, so try. So last time we were even on towers when that happened. Exactly. Yeah, that's why it went to sudden death. So it sustained the game for longer. I didn't even notice, honestly. Like it's super difficult to tell when this game is actually going to end. But I think it's basically at the end of three days and nights, if that makes sense. For what it's worth, it does tell you at the very start. Uh, da -da -da. Let me see if I can find it. Cool. Game rules. Uh, rule one, score. Destroying the enemy base gets you score of five and an instant victory. There's the time limit, 360 seconds. So six yep. weeks. The high yep. score wins. Six weeks. Yeah, six weeks in 360 seconds. <laughs> it goes by like that. I'm a mayfly, apparently. Uh, and rule C, sudden death. Sudden death rule enacts after 360 seconds if you both have an even score. But that's going to be the end of the first episode for this series. My name has been Rhapsody. His name has been Orbital Potato. There's going to be all of the relevant links in the description down below, including a link to the Steam store page for the game itself, as well as a link to my compatriots channel. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Bye.